So this is unit one, lesson seven. Um, and really in this lesson, all we're doing is the exact same thing we were doing yesterday, except with um, much larger numbers. Um, so it's gonna be very similar. So every now and then I'm gonna ask you to pause and all I want you to do is just hit the pause button, try and finish the problem, and then when you're done or you get stuck, just hit play again. Um, now, I realize that the temptation is to just let it play through and try and copy um, what I do. Um, I encourage you not to do that um, because it doesn't really help you to learn as well in most cases. Um, so just go ahead and pause and, and really try your best, okay? So um, this is the new groups above. I've already started it very slightly. Um, so we have the eight plus the nine, so that's 17, obviously, and so we put the seven down here and the new group above. Um, so I'd like you to go ahead and pause and try and finish the rest of this problem on your own. Okay, um, so hopefully you paused and um, this will be more of a, a check than anything else. Okay, so we have one plus zero, which equals one plus two, which equals three. Okay, then six plus seven equals 13. Once again, we come up here. One plus three equals four, plus one equals five. I'm gonna go ahead and put my comma in there so I don't forget it later. Then I have my seven plus nine, which equals 16. So I put my one up here. Then my one plus my two is three. Three plus five equals eight. Moving on over here, it's very similar except we put the new group um, below. So it's eight plus nine is still 17. So we put our seven, we just put our one down here. Um, so it, it, it really doesn't matter that much because um, I mean, it's either up here or down here, so whichever way makes more sense to you is perfect. Okay, um, so 0 plus 2 equals 2 plus 1 equals 3. Um, here's where I'm going to go ahead and have you pause, try and finish out the rest. Remember, you're just putting your little ones down here, um, and so that'll kind of uh, get you started. And so when you're ready to go, just press play again. Okay, so we're going to keep going. Um, like I said, hopefully this is more of a check. Um, so we've got our, our 6 plus our 7, which is um, 13. Let me go ahead. There you go, almost putting my 1 up there. That's what I'm used to. Um, so I put my 1 down here. Now be careful that you don't get it mixed up with your comma. Um, so maybe I'll make that a little bit more distinct. All right, then I've got 3 plus 1 is 4, plus 1 is 5. So again, I'm going to go ahead and put my comma in just so I don't get mixed up later. Um, then I've got my 7 plus my 9, which is 16. And there I go. Look at that. Put my new group down here. So I've got 2 plus 5 equals 7 plus 1 equals 8. Um, so, like I said, um, these two ways are very similar. Um, this is what I'm personally more comfortable with. This is the way I, I learned growing up. Um, so you can see um, that that's generally what I default to. Okay, so here are a couple of ways that um, are a little bit different. Um, so hopefully we can we can work this out without too much trouble. So this is the place value way. Um, just starting on this side, okay? So we really need to keep in mind what place value we're working with. So this is 200,000 because we have all of these over here, right? So 200,000 plus 500,000 is 700,000. Just like that. And then you would do the same thing for this right here. Now here's where it gets a little bit tricky. 
Um, so this would be 70,000 plus 90,000, which is going to be 160,000, right? So it still comes over into here, um, and as we know um, from our, our problems up there, we need an 8 over in this 100 thousands column at the end. Um, so just keep that in mind. So I'd like you to go ahead and pause the video and continue with the thousands. And all you have to do is the thousands, hundreds, tens, and ones. And then uh, press play when you think you're ready to go. All right, so we're going to keep going. So this is um, going to be 3,000 plus 1,000, which equals 4,000. Then moving over into our hundreds, we have 600 plus 700, which is going to be 1,300. Um, so th this method really means that you, if, if you like this method, it means that you're probably pretty solid with your place value. Um, and you, you just like the, the mechanics of it. Um, but if you don't like it, that's fine. I'm not going to force you to use it. Um, this, is just a, this is just a practice. Okay, so then we have 0 plus 20, which obviously equals 20, then our 8 plus 9, which still equals 17. Um, so just be careful when you're adding it all up. So we've got all zeros and a 7 all zeros, then a 2 plus 1 equals 3, zeros and a 3, 0, 0, 4 plus 1 equals 5, put that comma in there, and then 0 and 6 plus 6 equals 6, and then 7 plus 1 equals 8. Okay, um, so this this is the, the place value method, and it's just place by place. Okay, so we're going to move over here and do this one. It's basically the same except you take this and you basically flip it. Okay, so we start over here on the right side with the 8 plus 9 and we go, okay, so that equals 17, then we move over and then we have the 0 or the zero plus the 20. So you can see that it's it's basically the same thing. It's just been flipped over um, so obviously the next one is going to equal this. Um, but what I want you to think about is the place values as you're going across. So go ahead and pause and then um, uh, press play when you're ready to go. All right, so we're going to continue going across. Uh, we are in the hundreds place now. Um, and so we're going to go with uh, 1,300. Now, something to be very careful about is making sure that it's all lined up when you're doing this. So do you see how when I did it from the left, everything kind of lined up going this way so that I could add it up really nicely. Now, everything's going to be lined up on the right and, and it needs to be really nice. Otherwise, it'll get really confusing when I, when I start to get into the big numbers down here. So... Um, we just did our hundreds place, so now we're going to do our thousands place. So we have 3,000 plus 1,000, which equals 4,000. Notice I'm being very careful to line everything up. Otherwise, like I said, it'll get really confusing really fast. Um, then we move over into the ten thousands. And once again, this is where it could get a little confusing, so just take your time. And we have... 160,000 because we have 70,000 plus 90,000. And so what I would do is I would actually go this way in this case, knowing that I have to have four zeros, my six, and my one. So that works a little bit better for me um, with the bigger ones just going this way. Then we have our 200,000 plus our 500,000, which equals 700. Thousand, then we just once again add them all up coming down this way so we end up with seven three three five don't forget your comma six and eight so hopefully that uh, that gets you started